Hello, Sarah. Thank you so much for agreeing to, uh, to speak with us this morning. Um, would you mind starting by talking a little bit about where you work um, in Chester? Yes, certainly. Um, so I work for a firm of solicitors called Cully Moore Dutton. Uh, we're one of the longest established uh, law firms uh, within Chester and have been running and providing legal services for over 225 years. Uh, we're a firm that pride ourselves on excellent cu customer service um, whilst keeping the true traditional values at heart uh, for clients. Um, we've got a wide range of services that we offer our clients from residential property, which myself um, deal with, we have a commercial property team. We have our own in-house IFA and mortgage advisor. Um, we have a private client team that can help you through the later stages in life with lasting powers of attorneys, wills. And we've also got a fantastic family team, um, which also has the support of Susan Alexander, who does a lot of mediation, um, which is uh, used quite a lot within the family um, arena at the moment. Okay, great. Thank, thanks for thanks for an update on that. I know you and I have known each other for many, many years, but it's it's helpful for people watching today. And I guess that I mean the world has changed massively in the last few weeks. But what have been the um, the legal issues that that you and and the team have faced at Cullymore? So it, it's brought an opportunity for us to have a look at various different procedures because what the current situation has done that has impacted on things that we've almost taken for granted and ease of um, say for instance having documents witnessed so we've had to look at various different ways in which we can do the things that we would normally do in a bit more of an innovative way so um, like we've had to look at will signings for instance within our wills department and they've had to kind of look at keeping social distancing whilst also still looking at the, the rules and ensuring that then wills are validly executed. So it has created um, some very interesting um, kind of different scenarios. We've also kind of used it as an opportunity to have a look at everything that we're doing in general um, and looking at whether or not there's things that we're doing now that we can use and implement um, for the future. So for instance, Zoom, um, is this something mm -hmm. that we can use um, and pass out to our clients moving forward? Because there's something to be said about seeing someone. Um, I know it's lovely to see people on the uh, on, have, speak to people on the phone, but seeing them and getting that connection that you get from actually seeing their face mm -hmm. is really good. And not everyone has that time to come into the office uh, to sit down and go through documents. So it is something that we want to look at. Um, moving forward um, and kind of really use that time um, to make sure we can be the best version of us really, um, which is really good. Great. So do you have, um, say, three tips for um, clients or prospective clients for, um, for lockdown, for, for keeping things moving, which actually you've been really great at and thank you for, you know, the completions you've helped us with, you know, you have really been very, very aggressive in terms of trying to make sure that compliance is there, but things move forward, which is very, very much appreciated by your clients. Well, I, I think that's the situation we're in at the moment. It's doing what we can do in the current parameters and moving them forward as much as we can. Now, there's some transactions that we won't be able to progress as much as we'd like, but we're putting the clients in the best position they can be uh, so they can move um, once them parameters are lifted. Mm -hmm. So I think the first tip I'd say is be prepared. So if you're not already currently with your house on the market or you're sat at home uh, and the, the house on the market with yourself, use that time to get your documents in order. So what we see with transactions is there's a lot of delays from not having your certificates at hand, not having your warranties, that type of thing. Just have a think, what works have I done to that property? That collating it all in one place so that when you are yeah, ready my to door's start, going. <laughs> hopefully John will get it. <laughs> <laughs> When you when you do get that sale, you're able to pass all that 
information directly on to solicitors that because what we find the first letter in inquiries are always are could I have a copy of this certificate could I have a copy of this and mm. if we've already provided it at the beginning stages it's going to make the transaction easier for you and less stressful and it's going to make it quicker so I definitely use this time to be prepared great be prepared. Um, I'd secondly um, say that this time if you're able to enjoy the smaller things in life with everything's moving so fast normally you know take the solace and that you've got your family there and enjoy that little bit of time and extra time from rushing and doing everything <laughs> I, I, I personally that is one thing that out of everything the madness the chaos I'm so thankful for the extra time that I'm able to have with my family uh, and I think you know that that's just enjoy the bits you can and in relation to the ones that are going through the process my third tip would be to not panic mm -hmm. because everyone's in that same situation um, so all the buyers are in the same situation sellers are in the same situation the solicitors are working to the same guidelines so it almost creates a level playing field so you've already done the the good job by choosing your legal advisor and you've researched and you've picked the right person for you um, and trust in what they're doing for you um, because that's ultimately what they're there for i love that thank you sarah that that makes absolute sense and i think you know it, it is an uncertain time it is a troubling time for people and that's exactly what um, people need to know is that they're in safe hands and that they've chosen correctly and that you're acting in the best possible um, circumstances for them so yeah I, I love thank you for the for the top tips and thank you for for meeting me today very very well, nice to see you thank you for having me see you soon Sarah bye, bye. have a good day